What's up, John? Not much, Bugs. I just thought you being from Brooklyn and all, I thought it'd be cool to do a video on you and let the viewers know some of your famous Brooklyn sayings and the fact that you are from Brooklyn and that in lots of your Bugs Bunny cartoons, you can see scenes of Brooklyn. What's up, Doc? What's up, Doc? Please, officer, you gotta help me. I'm flipping my leg. Everybody's turning into rabbits. What's all this about rabbits, Doc? Big damn victory, a costly one. <laughs> Yeah, folks, it's true. Bugs Bunny was born in Brooklyn, New York, in uh, July 27, 1940, and right off the bat, he was a huge success. First cartoon short, A Wild Hair, was nominated and won Best Academy Award for a short subject the same year. Bugs, you're amazing. You're one of only two animated cartoon characters to ever be honorably discharged from the United States military. I mean, take a look at this. Looks like a job for a real Superman. <laughs> So while there's been a lot of cartoon characters who are from Brooklyn, animated characters, there's only one Bugs Bunny, and he is the true king of all the animated characters from Brooklyn, in fact, almost anywhere else, because he's probably the ninth most celebrated figure in history. He's even got his own star on the Walk of Fame. I mean, how many animated people can say that? Not too many. Truth though, folks, I think what resonates with Bugs Bunny with me is that, and I think with a lot of people, is that, you know, Bugs Bunny is from Brooklyn. Brooklyn has always been known as kind of a, a tough place with a lot of challenges, a lot of things that happened to the people there, you know, during the Depression and things like that. But no matter what happens to Bugs Bunny, he has this resilient attitude, this cocky, carefree attitude that he just doesn't let the pressure get to him, doesn't really fold under the pressure. And um, not only doesn't he fold, he comes to the top. And I think that's what people love about Bugs Bunny. And it's, I think it's what embodies Brooklyn as well. No matter what crazy thing happens, no matter what goes on, the people of Brooklyn still have that resolve and they never give up. In fact, that's what my father always said. That was my father's saying that he lived by, never give up. And that was characteristic of all Brooklyn and it still is today. Bugs Bunny was voiced by Mel Blanc, the man of a thousand voices. So, you know, you had that kind of iconic voice behind it. And of course, Mel Blanc decided to give Bugs a Brooklyn accent because he was born in Brooklyn. And um, it was just a natural thing that came about. In 1955, the Dodgers broke the hearts of Brooklynites and moved uh, to California, to Los Angeles. But it's established law that Bugs Bunny was born right underneath Ebbets Field. And uh, this is just part of the, uh, the charm of Bugs Bunny. In fact, there's been lots of photographs of Bugs Bunny uh, depicted in Brooklyn Dodger costumes and, you know, costumes, uniforms, I should say. It's funny thinking about Bugs Bunny. I often wonder how many kids that Bugs Bunny got to eat carrots. I mean, I think, I don't remember why I first started eating carrots. It was probably, you know, long before I remember, obviously. But certainly Bugs Bunny being one of my favorite characters of all times, always made eating carrots look really good. So I think as far as I remember, I, I loved eating carrots. So maybe Bugs Bunny had a lot of positive impact on us all. Who knows? I mean, they say if you watch things that are unproductive and you start doing them, but Bugs Bunny was always healthy. I mean, he was way ahead of the curve. He was eating carrots and they weren't, you know, they were just raw carrots, very healthy for you. And you never saw Bugs Bunny wearing glasses either. So it helped his eyesight. So they say, vitamin A. This year, 2020, Bugs Bunny celebrated his 80th birthday, believe it or not. I mean, Bugs Bunny's looking really great. Have to give the guy credits, 80 years old and he's still jumping and hopping and running. It's amazing. Really amazing too, folks, you have to remember is Bugs Bunny was born in what they call the Golden Age, which is basically from like 1939 up until about 1964. And he's a Warner Brothers product. But I mean, think about the Warner Brothers company during the Golden Age, which Bugs Bunny shares being born in 1940. Just take a look at these famous characters that everybody knows and loves. Speaking about those Golden Age characters, I mean, I think what's so endearing about the Golden Age characters and what really separates them, what makes them golden age is that they're able to reintroduce themselves and reinvent themselves as time goes on. I mean, you think about Batman and Superman, think about how many times Batman and Superman have been reinvented over the years and think about how a new generation gains to love them 
And Bugs Bunny has always been the same way. I mean, being born in 1940, he, he was introduced right away. And then there it was, you know, and you thought maybe he was fading out just a little bit. What happens, uh, it comes along, uh, he's in a movie with Michael Jordan, Space Jam. And his, his history is just reignited all over again. And this is what seems to happen throughout the years. It's just that, you know, as it goes down, it just kind of builds right back up again. Talk about a successful reignition of a product. When I think about a successful reignition of Bugs Bunny for my son's generation, who was born in 1991, in the same year, Warner Brothers started opening up the Warner Brothers stores. And we used to always go to the one in the Staten Island Mall. And I actually have a photograph, it's still a photograph of the one in the Staten Island Mall with Bugs Bunny, of course, as the Statue of Liberty. And the products were fantastic in there. And they had all kinds of interactive stuff for the kids. And my son just loved going there. So it was just when we talked about going shopping, most kids don't want to go shopping, but he was happy to go because he knew I would be hanging out with him in the store and uh, my wife would be out shopping or whatever. But what's really cool is I have some excellent footage of a Warner Brothers store that we went to. So t check this out. You can think you're going to really enjoy this. Flying space saucer. Yeah. Oh, yeah. As no, uh, we lost our son Matt last year to suicide in 2019. So we're starting up this foundation. Uh, we're recognized in the state of Florida as a non for profit. We will soon be receiving our 501c3 from the IRS. You could visit us on our website at www.wafflesfoundation.org. Folks, thank you for listening. Let's stamp out suicide and Enjoy Bugs Bunny, folks. Uh, cultural icon, born in Brooklyn, can't get any better. So hang in there, and I'll see you real soon on the next video. And enjoy this tribute to Bugs Bunny. Thank you.
thank you very much for joining us. If you really enjoyed that video, uh, please like, share, subscribe. All proceeds, again, go to the Waffles Foundation. That's our foundation. So have a wonderful day and do what Bugs Bunny would do. Be a survivor. And um, if you need help, folks, seriously, just reach out. And uh, it's the most important thing. So this is Al signing off. I'll see you in the next video. Take care, folks. Bye-bye.